Hey everybody, this is Fragger and Jack here, and we are going to be talking a little bit about American McGee's Alice 2, or Alice, Madness Ooh. Returns. Do you know where American McGee got his start? Uh, id. Id Software. He was a map designer for id Software. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Which is a, a, a Dallas-based company. Mesquite, Texas, actually, for those of you who care. <laughs> no oh. one cares. I, <laughs> I was like, now I'm learning something today. Yeah, man. Ch check made. Um, <laughs> but uh, this has so, been my long-awaited sequel. I'll oh, yeah? You. But uh, I love the original game, which came out on um, October 6th, 2000, when the first oh, yeah? game came out. It was, I believe, if I remember correctly, one of the very first games to use the uh, Quake 3 engine that wasn't made by id. Wow, so so this is a week of, of uh, sequels coming out almost uh, over a decade after the first one then, right? Because exactly. we had Duke Nukem this week, and we also had uh, Alice this week. Yes, and um, have you? did you ever play the original at all? I did not. I did not get into it, so... Uh, I, I've, I've played a couple American McGee games. Um, actually, do you, I don't know if you ever remember, he did a game called Bad Day L.A. Yes, he did. I think that was right after he did this. Really? Like, I mean, it was like his next game after Alice. Oh, man. Well, that was years and years after Alice, because that, mm -hmm. was, that was like 2007 I think or so. so. Or it was a little I earlier, because it was an original Xbox game. Uh, was it, I don't think it was an Xbox game. It was a PC game when it was I worked PC, on it. Was, I think it was PC and Xbox. I can't remember. Um, I don't know, because I worked on that game. So. Oh, well, <laughs> well, excuse me. Yeah, I cut some trailers for it and stuff when I was working for my old company. So, anyway, that's what I, I, I'm a fan of American McGee. You know, he's like, he's actually kind of a recluse. He lives out in like, I think he's like China, like somewhere in like mm -hmm. weird, like a weird obscure area and he's tough to get to. I yeah, almost he, got to fly out and interview him, so. Which is why uh, he made the new, the new company he made, Spicy yeah. Horse, for this game. Is in there Shanghai. You. Oh, there you go. We're all so learning we're, things. We're learning things about American McGee. But yes, He's an, an eccentric dude that makes pretty interesting games. Really weird games too. <laughs> but um, speaking of actually the original game that we were talking about, this game actually yeah. includes it. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah, it actually is part. You know that whole like you get a code for to unlock part of the game type yeah. deal. Uh, and and for Alice, it's the original American McGee's Alice, which is actually included in the gamer score in this game, which is kind of interesting. I don't think we've ever seen something like that. Wait, when, what um, do you mean it's included in the gamer score? Like 100 of the gamer score of Madness Returns is dedicated to the original game. Oh, that's weird. So it's like not an arcade release, and you actually have to play it through the inside of the game, but you know, 100 gamer score and uh, some of the um, achievements I, I think I listed in here. How many of them are dedicated to that? Um, six of them are actually tied to the original Alice, and that's kind of interesting. I think. That, wait, so so like, if you don't have the DLC code, you can't play the game that's on the disc. Yes, you can't play oh. the original American McGee's Alice. Oh, that's kind of lame. Well, it's part of, you know the Project Ten Dollar, but that's what it is for this game. Yeah, but I mean, especially if it's tied, especially if it's mm -hmm. tied to Gamer Score, that's weird. Huh. It is. It's very weird. Oh. I. But whatever. It's a, it's a it's a whole game too. So. That's true. But. All yes. right, well, let's talk about some achievements. Yes, and uh, the, all of them are named pretty awesomely, so it was kind of hard <laughs> for me to pick a few. Okay. Like, um, the way you upgrade your weapons in this game is you have to use teeth on them. Like, Gross. that's your currency. So uh, they have a bunch of teeth jokes, but the best one is for upgrading all four of your weapons, which is the name of the achievement is Armed to the Teeth, <laughs> which is obviously to upgrade all your weapons. Um, yeah. And then one of the, I think it's the third weapon you get in the game is called the uh, hobby horse, which is kind of uh -huh. like you know one of those horses that used to, like, there was like a head on a stick and you'd ride like I'm riding a horsey, but it's like your big melee weapon. Wait, how, how does it go again? I'm riding a horsey. Okay, I'm just making sure. Go on. Okay, and uh, the name of the achievement—it's actually a secret achievement—is Nay Slayer. Ah, uh -huh. yes, I four, get it. Yup, you kill uh, four enemies with a single ground smash. Oof. That move, and um, I think I'm gonna try to make a video for that one once I eventually get that get that weapon. Okay. But um, other than that, there's it's pretty straightforward. It's a bunch of you know kill dudes this many times with the, these weapons, and uh, use like this ability this many times. And that's standard stuff when it comes to an action game. But uh, upgrading, I mean, level completion. Most of them are actually level completion based. But um, I'm like looking through all this stuff here, and the biggest problem that I had. Is I the think I know what it is. Yeah, I'm looking at this. I've, you, you sent me notes because you're awesome, and you, there's a note here that says 256 collectibles. That can't be right. It's actually a, actually the game gives you a little stat at the beginning, like you hit Y at the main menu, and it shifts over and you see a drawer. 
there's a total of 256 things to collect in the game that they show you because there's an achievement that's called uh, Just Peachy. Uh -huh. That's a, a collectible in one level, I think. Uh -huh. And I don't know how many there are in that level yet. I haven't gotten there. So there's possibly more. Oh, Jesus Christ. So but how many? Let's see. There were, I think there were like 600 collectibles in Crackdown 2. Yeah. The orbs and everything. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it was 300. Like, Jesus, I don't know. But that, that was painful. But 256, man, that's just mean. It is. And uh, once you beat a level, I, I this is one of the reasons why this is coming out a little late. I wanted to make sure I beat a level, beat a, a chapter of the game, which are about uh -huh. like three, four hours long. Oh, Jesus. And uh, once you beat a chapter, it actually unlocks the individual sections. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. So you can hop back in, but it just gives you an overall chapter total. So you don't know like oh, in God. those sections if you've gotten everything and. As of this recording, I'm missing one. Oh. And I'm trying to hunt down that, that son of a bitch, and it's becoming a pain in the ass. But uh, other than that, there's um, there's one, like, special beat-the-game achievement, uh -huh. which is to use Hysteria only one time throughout the entire game, and that's kind of your berserk mode. Okay. So, like, your health gets down low, it unlocks it, and you click the left stick in. So as long as you only use that one time in the game, you net the level-headed achievement. How, how, do you know how much that's worth? Uh, like 75, I think. Okay, I so it's, it's one head. of the bigger ones. Yeah, I, I'm glad that you know a tough achievement like that is going to give you a good gamer score. For yeah, they're actually, num they're actually like very segmented very well in this game. That's good. Which is, uh, yeah, I agree. It's very good. And uh, other than that, I'm looking through this other stuff here. Uh, there's some like small things in certain levels, like uh, yeah, that's using your head. Complete off with her head part two in under six minutes. <laughs> mm good times exactly so how, how did the first alice game end did you do you kill the the queen or anything like that like how does it work i believe if i remember correctly you you kill the queen of hearts and she's actually like a giant spider if i remember correctly oh, or spider well that makes sense yeah just like if those of you who've never played alice this is a very messed up game <laughs> it's it's a it's a take on the children's tale right it's a take on the children's tale and it's it's a it's kind of a sequel and it's if um after that happened uh her family died in a uh, fire and she went to an insane asylum and this is like what would have happened to one that happened to Alice. Oh, so it's almost like sucker punched the game. Exactly, but you know, <laughs> okay. a, a lot earlier. <laughs> okay. But um, one final achievement we have to bring up is called Brilliant, or I think that's how you pronounce that, which is to kill ten bitch babies with deflection. Nah. <laughs> that's just inappropriate. Well, it's the name of the enemy. Shrug. That's sh bitch babies. That's just mean. <laughs> exactly. But uh, this is a great game. I I don't think it's for everybody. But uh, no. to, because it's actually you would some people would call it an action platformer. It's actually more of a platformer actioner. There's mm. a lot of platforming in this game. Okay. So you have to kind of keep that in mind when you're looking in this game. And you also have to be able to deal with how just crazily insane this game is too. Yeah, with an American McGee game, the the visual style is always something really really cool, right? I mean. Yeah, it is very really, cool. Uh, yeah, I like this stuff. So. But uh, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm also trying to think of how how long it's going to take you to get the thousand in this game because you have to beat. The first game, you probably want to beat um, the game twice, uh, at Mass Returns twice, and then you have to beat the original game once. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of leaning towards 20-something hours for this. Oh, that's it? Maybe. It depends on how long the game actually is, but I'm through Chapter 1 of 5 in the game right now, and that took me about four hours. Okay, so... so it could be a lot more, but... Yeah, well, eh. the second playthrough is always a little bit easier. Exactly, so. and you can probably and there's uh, dresses that Alice has that you can like get that make it a lot easier too. Like you can do double damage, you can use hysteria whenever you want, stuff like that. So it probably yeah, because well, once you get that hysteria achievement, not one time you don't have to worry about it again. You're right? just like, oh no, I'm almost dead. Hysteria. <laughs> but uh, recommend this game. It's a lot of fun, and uh, yeah. Cool. Well, let's get to it. Let's get our American Mickey Alice Madness returns on. <laughs> 